That'll help.
Must be lonesome, Rock. If it's a trap, I might need to go in quiet. Hmm. Seems like an ordinary outpost. I'd better look around. I'm so there are bored. chains in the cart. I'm bored with being bored. I'm bold, Outlander! What are you doing here? Prefect Zaid told me that bandits abducted a girl near here. Do you know where they might have taken her? Zaid told you that, did he? Huh. No bandits around here, girl. But I think I can help you find your friend. The boss sent us a fresh one, boys. Wrap her up and tie her down. She's coming for us! Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. Tracks lead to that compound. Maybe Nakoa's inside. That Nora girl we got in the hole is nice and lean. Don't get ideas. Zaid says hands off or he'll hurt her price at auction. Sounds like Nico is here. And I'm gonna have to cut through these guards to get to her. I can hear you. Could be something here. What is that?
someone there? Prisoners. Chained up to be sold as slaves. Nikoa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men. Here's my foe. You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. How did Zayed capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me. Then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And after? Said he was gonna sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time, he kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. You've been through a lot. I'm fine. Are you sure? Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen. And I did. What are you gonna do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more run down they got, the harder it was for Zaid to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. You're not even going to try to go back? What about Yon? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Time for me to go. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. If you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then, thank you for helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know. Maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. As soon as the others are ready, we'll head for Meridian. Thanks again for all your help.
Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary, I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder, that's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend. May he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh, yeah. Chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately. And Saravad said... No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure. To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were... torn apart, not blown up. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Oh, you're... You're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Wonderful! I prefer the one about the sun priest falling in love with the merchant's daughter. Okay, that was too far.
That's odd. What's this man doing here? Aren't you? I've never seen a machine like that. Whoa! Nor a hunter so bold. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. Oh, wonderful. Shit storm tour, day nine. I was setting up my tent right here when Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could, but you'd already slipped into a coma. We never got a chance to say goodbye. Entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just What's here going on here? here? Helen's in there, somewhere. And so is Aaron, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard.
Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Give yourself some time. You'll find your footing. Not at the rate I've been drinking. And what would your sister have said about that? I know, you're right. I should expect more of myself. She always did. A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house, here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess, as long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Come on. So many people are all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. You'll Is she? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these Buy days. Need, leave the rest. Would you like to buy something? Vengeance for Ursa! How long will a god hide in his palace? Blood for blood! Vengeance for Ursa! How long will a god hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant! You should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now.
Okay, how are we gonna get in? <laughs> oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. The corner of this rug is frayed, and the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. It looks like a picture of Owen's family. Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. to obey or they'd kill his family. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It... Reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus is the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You... Came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do.
place. It smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? Hmm. You're an outlander. Nora from the look of you. I bet you're a machine hunter, too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the Hunter's Lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. Are you saying that you have to be Karja to join the Lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep Outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. What's wrong with the hunting lodge, exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the carja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the lodge. Maybe. But it isn't gonna be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. Traitors killed Captain Ursa. Had to take over my brother's shift today. Sure as the sun's rising, he's courting that noble girl. Feels like Ursa was the pin holding Asalam and Karja together. Could you spare a moment to speak of the fire things? What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows, but some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next, Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come. Let's talk it over.
found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them, if you have any. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ban Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. You ready? Let's trade then. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. I'd like to discuss a trade with you, Outlander. I'm safe to sit here, but. Here's what I don't get about the sun one. All these fancy decorations everywhere. It's downright embarrassing. moment someone robbed my house you're the one the vanguard has been crowing about the nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight if only you'd use it to help me a thief raided my home and took my brother's sword why would someone steal the sword it's priceless made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn finely inlaid with studded stones all down the uh, okay i get it forgive me that's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King. So when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. 
You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. The thief broke drops of blood, leading away. A moment of your time, Outlander? Still more blood. The thief got cut pretty... The trail ends here. Someone must have seen the thief. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. I'd like an opportunity to share a drink of air. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop off. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay, I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. 